Okay, so you've been on self-improvement for a while. You tried different things, starting from meditation, affirmation, gratitude journaling, list goes on and on. It's becoming more and more popular, but how much is too much? Well, today I'm gonna answer your question by presenting the anti monk law. <laughs> I remember a time when I was living in the dorm and my friend came up to me. He was watching Hamza at the time. He was on self-improvement, he still probably is. And he said, I'm not gonna touch plastics in my life anymore. I was like, what the hell, brother? <laughs> I took the plastic thing that I have and started destroying it to him. Because, well, you know, it is just the life in the dorm. Yeah, he was trying to defend. He should get out of the room eventually. Thing is, he showed something different to me that the guy that don't really knew about estrogenics and material that plastic decrease your testosterone. And it felt like an obsession. I really thought, what is going on there? <laughs> this is kind of like too much. How can you not touch the plastics? Because probably this desk is from PVC plastic, this chair that I'm on, this camera gear, etc. But for sure, at the time when I didn't knew about it, I said to him, bro, that's too much of a self-improvement you do. And he didn't agree. I will give you three indicators that will show you how much is too much for you. If one of those indicators is reliable to you, then your self-improvement is too much. Bro. The first one is morning routine. How long does your morning routine go? One hour, 30 minutes, or maybe six hours. If it's more than three hours, bro, that's too much. Simple answer. When you wake up, first thing that you do, I'll tell you mine. I wake up, I go to the cold shower, and then after the cold shower, I go and brush my teeth. And after brushing my teeth, straight coming to the work. This is my simple routine. It takes kind of like 30 minutes and it's not long. But if you are a self-improvement geek and you do stretches, you do affirmations, you do meditations, you do visualizations, you do cold showers, you do protein eating, shakes, you drinking water. Bro, that's too much. That's simply, I did, can't even count it. This is when you understand that you're not focusing on the work because the main thing that you do in the morning is the work task. Eat the frog. This is what it called the technique. Eating the frog, it is your most important task because this is when you are most productive in the first part of the day. And you're not trying to distract yourself with the morning routine. So next time if you would wake up and you will see that you spend more than, even I would say one hour, why should you? Go straight to work because then self-improvement locks you. And this is actually the second trigger. Number two is when you are locked by the self-improvement. It is when it uses you not you using it in the profitable way. It's when you do the meditation, but in the moment your parents are screaming at you and you're sitting still like calmly meditating. What the hell, brother? Your parents literally screaming at you and you are sitting quietly. If you are in that kind of self-improvement, get the hell out of there. This is not what you need. And also the things that steal your authenticity. It is when you simply can't be yourself. It is when self-improvement locks you in that space that you can go on a party because you have a nighttime routine, but you really want to, you feel like you're obligated to, you feel like you would get so many experience from it. But no, it is because of self-improvement, you will say at home. Bro, I'm not hater on self-improvement, bro, I'm on it too. But sometimes it worries not to be on it. It's not about validation, social recognition. It's about living the experience. And if somebody else holding you back from it and you really want to, it's not because your friend invited you or because you think that you will get girls on this event. That is when you think, okay, should I get some girls, really degenerate ones on this party? I probably, it's not worth it to sacrifice my sleep. And you will still, you know it when it's too much or when it's not. This is my answer to your question. You simply know it, bro. If you are in that kind of videos, if you found me, if you watching Hamza, you watching other self-improvement king guys, you probably know what you need to do. And your videos, you already watched them probably 100, maybe 200 about self-improvement. You already in it and you know the things, but you still didn't apply the important one of them. Prioritize what you need. That if 
you know that you will get so much experience by spending one night of your nighttime schedule and you will lose a week, for example, because of it, productive work. But you know that experience frequently worse. You don't know does it worse or not, but you want to leave the experience you really want to go and go, bro. You also can return back at 10 p.m. and be happy about it. Why not? Now, the last thing that identifies whether it's too much or not, it's when you can speak with girls or you can speak with anyone else. Like you feel introverted when you're sitting in your room every single day you don't get out you only get out to the go to the gym when you're doing this habits that will help you gratitude meditation etc yes they are helpful but if you don't have money would you be a millionaire if you would do everything that is connected with self-improvement probably not and the end of the day this is the goal of self-improvement to get you some money in the frog one of the techniques that will really help you calendar structure is when you schedule your day to be productive on your work hours, all of the habits that I told you for like three times already in this video will not get you money. This is just so-called additions to your life. This is not your life, but this is addition. But from the other point of view, self-improvement is not some period of your time. This is a lifestyle. The point of meditation is not to meditate 20, 100 hours and just stop meditating after it or the point of going to the gym is not to go to the gym, get jacked and not go to the gym anymore. The point is to go to the gym and enjoy the process. Same with your purpose, same with your work. Yes, you will achieve some rewards, but why are you really on self-improvement? You just want to have simple and nice life. Probably like me, want to have a wife some day, a house, nice car. But now for other part of you worse. How much is too much? How much is too little? It is when you eat a junk food and you go to the gym. It is when you try to be grateful for something, but then you screaming at your parents that they didn't give you. It is when you play Brawl Stars, computer games, whatever you play, and you go to the gym. This is the other point of view. It is not connected with David Yao. Let's summarize it. How much is too much for you? You need to answer this question. Because I'm the YouTuber, I'm the one that takes your emotion and try to move them in that way so that you will think and you will action by yourself. Because this is DIY, do it yourself, not me doing it for you, done for you. DF, why? Just like that. Journal about it. How much is too much for you? And don't be nice. Be good. See you in the next one. Bob Bank.